A lot of us turned up the AC today, but just how much pressure is that putting on the power grid? Ariel Placencia has been talking with officials at ERCOT. What are you hearing? Well, Chris, they're definitely keeping an eye on load management, especially with everything going on with COVID-19. And a little bit of good news here. They do tell me that they are seeing lower power usage from 6 to 10 a.m. pretty consistently and actually a lower level than they typically forecast. So that's a little bit of good news there. Now, you mentioned that I talked to ERCOT earlier this morning. And for those of you who are maybe new to Texas, ERCOT stands for the Electric Reliability Council of Texas. And they basically manage the flow of electric power to millions of Texans, which represents about 90% of the state's electric load. Well, they said that it is possible that a new April peak demand record could be set today just due to those higher than normal temperatures that Pete just talked about. And with everything going on with COVID-19, ERCOT also announced that they're going to start providing weekly updates. Now, this is the graph that they put out on Twitter today. Those peaks represent each day of the week. Notice the dates from March 29th through April 4th. Load pretty much builds up over the course of a day, makes sense, and then goes back down in the evenings. NERCOT said there's actually been a little little impact to the daily peak, so that's good. They said the overall load reduction has actually leveled off over the past few weeks. Now, ERCOT's also in charge of forecasting load needs, and with the weather like today, everybody, including myself, already thinking about summer, ERCOT came out and said they are expecting record electric use this summer, pretty similar to what happened last year, and any changes to this forecast, they'll come out with an announcement next month. Chris? All right. Thank you, Ariel.